Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome morning. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Gigi Lemayne is looking for love on Temptation Island, South Africa. So rapper Gigi Lemayne is looking to take a hunk home in the reality show Temptation Island, South Africa. Now the talented rapper has joined the lineup of single women who include actresses, rappers as well as yoga instructors now according to the creators of the show it is the ultimate relationship test and it is based on the bunny j owned hit reality format now the show follows four couples on a crossroad in their relationship they must mutually decide if they are ready to commit to each other for the rest of their lives or go their separate ways now together the couples experience a luxurious holiday in paradise where they live separately with 20 sexy single men and women who are looking for love so grand grand this is a reality show is about his dinner. Let's let's just be honest. It's about taking someone else's partner. But moving right along from that, uh, Gigi Lemayne actually spoke to the papers and apparently she said that she is not looking for a groupie but a real man. She said that she was ready to dominate the dating scene just like she dominates the charts with her killer bars. She says that she's a person that speaks her mind and she is not afraid to walk away from a relationship that is not right for her. This is what she's quoted as saying in the article, I've always watched the international franchise and I've always wanted to be part of the cast. I'm looking for a hunk to take home which would be amazing because I haven't had any luck on the streets. <laughs> Gigi Lemayne is looking for a hunk. It's a, it's a nice, you know, different type of description from tall, dark and handsome. So yeah, definitely all the best to Gigi Lemayne and may she find that hunk. Oh, and I almost forgot Temptation Island South Africa premieres on the 26th of August with new episodes airing every Thursday until the 4th of November. Now, before we go off looking for love, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Moja Love welcomes the NPA's decision to withdraw prosecution against Bishop Israel Makam. So DSTV channel Moja Love has responded to the news that the MPA has dropped the case against Ria Zotela host and church leader Bishop Israel Makamu. The National Prosecuting Authority withdrew the prosecution against the popular TV presenter at the Palm Ridge Magistrate Court on Tuesday. Now in a statement that was sent to the papers, Moja Love head of Moja channels Bokani Moyo said we welcome and respect the NPA's decision regarding this matter. Bokani added that the channel was re stating Bishop Andrea Zotella of the mediation between the parties involved. This is the statement that the head of Moja Love Channels gave. After careful consideration and evaluation, the channel decided to reinstate Bishop Makamu to continue hosting Ria Zotella. This follows a mediation that was led by a professional between the parties involved where they reconciled and agreed on a way forward. Bishop Makamu is great at his job and our audiences love him. And when the case was dropped on Tuesday, the NPA spokesman person said the following the decision stems from a consultation process that we had with the complainant wherein she also informed us that there was a mediation process between herself and bishop makam after careful consideration of all evidence and the mediation process between the complainant and makamu the npa is convinced that the interest of justice dictates that prosecution no longer be pursued so that is what the npa spokesperson had to say and of course like i said mocha love does welcome that decision because you know they had reinstated stated Bishop Makamu quite a while back so this kind of affirms the reinstatement but yeah another case was laid and another case was withdrawn so ish the pattern here our next topic, rapper MT responds to Casper Nyovest allegedly dissing him. So rapper MT has shut down a Twitter user who came through to snitch about his longtime nemesis Casper Nyovest allegedly speaking disrespectfully about him. Now all of this stems from MT posting the following picture of himself on his timeline. Now a Twitter user came through in the comment section and wrote the following, Cas has been low key dissing you, I'm assuming that the ass is missing an H to make it Casper has been low key dissing you. But moving right along, MT actually responded to that and wrote, I lost Fox to give on God. Now, I don't really speak MT, but I'm assuming that it means I don't really care. So yeah, that is where that particular story comes from now. 
There is not really all that much truth in the alleged Casper diss, I will say that, though Casper has previously spoken up about the tainted relationship that he has with MT. Now speaking to Pearl Tusi in an interview on BET's Behind the Story, Casper Nuvez said that the fallout happened because MT ignored him when they were meant to record a song. Casper said the following, with MT we were supposed to go to studio, he switched off his phone, I was so excited to be in the studio with him but he mised me, not only him, there's a lot of people who mized me. Now MT did get a chance to explain his side of the story in an interview on Mac G's podcast and chill saying that he had feared that Casper Nuvest would be disingenuous. This is what he said on Mac G's podcast and chill. I don't want to rock up there and have him feeling like eh so I wanted to pull up respectfully by myself. But then again knowing the dude I don't want no weird headlines to come out tomorrow. You find out that maybe while we were in studio he acted like we're cool and we're recording Ganti he's taking a video of my crack oh god i mean like who takes a video of another man's crack but yeah apparently that's where the beef between casper nervous and empty stems from our next topic cyan bougie issues a statement about the car accident involving madam spura so social media influencer cyan bougie has issued a statement addressing all of the allegations that are floating around on social media now for those that don't know who cyan bougie is she's an influencer you know uh she's uh, quite big on instagram i mean if you guys want i might do a you know a bio or some like a couple of facts about cyan bougie and i'm sure by now we all know the drama that happened with madam spura doing that video on her youtube channel talking about the incident you know there were allegations in that uh, cyan bougie was busy on her phone when the accident happened and after that there have been some speculations on the internet some people saying that perhaps cyan bougie was trying to sacrifice madam spura so like i said cyan bougie has come up with an official statement to address all of those things. So Cyan posted the following statement on her social media statement by Cyan Bougie on a Zuma in, in brackets. So it is her real name Ona Zuma like it is Ona ki Ona ne all right honor uh, let's hear what honor has to say dear all i wish to take this opportunity to sincerely apologize for going live on the 15th of august 2021 with my friends whilst intoxicated and insensitive utterance thereof i spoke from a place of hurt disbelief and betrayal i wish to also apologize to the brands i have partnerships and collaborations with my followers and my family yeah we did we did say she was allegedly drunk but you know she's coming out and confirming it so should i remove the allegedly you know what let's keep the allegedly just in case moving right along it goes on to say i never imagined that one day someone so close to me and whom i love dearly would spread malicious stories and insinuations about me like most humans my natural reflex was to defend myself against such hurtful and false accusation perhaps the manner in which i went about this was not appropriate having said that i would like to clear my name on most things that have been said because they are not accurate i loved my friend wholeheartedly as she was more than a friend to me and enjoyed creating and sharing memories with her the facts of the matter that i am comfortable with sharing at this moment are as follows number one i would never attempt to sacrifice my friend's life or anyone's life but would rather risk my life for this i found the assertions and innuendos made on social media as baseless false and against my personal religious beliefs i don't believe in and would never sacrifice a human life and that is not an allegation i take lightly i would also not sacrifice my own car which i worked so hard for i believe that it was god's will that i did not suffer great injury and i am eternally grateful for god's grace and mercy upon myself and more importantly that we both made it alive from a horrific accident i mean personally you know i, I didn't really believe the whole sacrificing rumors and speculations it seemed a little far-fetched for uona zuma but moving right along number two there was at no point where i wanted the accident to be a secret the agreement was that we bring the situation to social media after we have both seek professional help and some time to heal i am currently in this healing phase number three i did not leave my former best friend ish former best friend at the accident scene however i went to get help because she was badly injured and i did not want to hurt her any further by attempting to remove her from the wreckage which makes sense 
Furthermore, we both left the accident scene together in an ambulance, which got us both admitted into hospital. There was no point in time where I left her to go party that night. Two days later, I was discharged from hospital and continued to promote the lodge we were supposed to go to while waiting for my former friend to get discharged. Okay, I mean, the work must go on at the end of the day. Number four, my family was never involved with regards to the matter. I asked that the public at large to keep them out of it, respect them and their privacy should I trend in future. Oh, she's preparing for future trends. <laughs> you gotta love influences. Number five, all other utterances made by my friend are simply untrue and false innuendos, which I wish not to entertain at this point in time respectfully. In conclusion to my statement, I wish to emphasize that my only aim is to have the matter finalized fairly and I am taking up hat was said on record with my legal team in order to deal with the allegations. Please allow me the space and privacy to deal with this sensitive matter. I will say this, you know, it does seem that lawyers these days are working overtime. Sincerely, Honor, Cyan Bougie, Zuma. Ends. Ah, uh, thank you, Honor. Uh, got the statement. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Onazuma's statement about the accident and all those allegations, innuendos, accusations, and all of the above. I will say this, you know, I had no idea that Cyan Bougie's name was Honor. I'm just gonna put it out there. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't, and binge watch my previous videos.